Assalamualaikum and good morning. Okay, so today we are going to discuss our self exercise 2.3, page 41 in our textbook. Okay, so we are going to look at our first one over here. The first question that we got over here is number 1A. Okay, we are not going to do everything there. Okay, just half of it. Uh, okay, half from our our question. So, yeah, okay, so we are going to look over here for our first question. Find the first derivative for each of the following function with respect to x. Okay, so if you look over here, we are going to do our number one a. Okay, what we have over here, four over five x to the power of ten. Okay, so if you look over here, what I'm going to do here is we are going to have our dy over dx to our 4 over 5x to the power of 10. So what I'm going to get this one, I'm going to copy first what we have over here, 4 over 5. That's the first thing, okay? Then what you are going to do next is I'm going to bring... Uh, to the power of 10 over here, our n, right? Uh, to front, so we are going to get this one as 10. Okay, so inside the bracket over here, what you are going to get, you are going to minus with, minus with one, actually this one. So you are going to have over here, x 10 to minus one. So we can simplify, five with 10. So I'm going to get two, four times two. So you're going to get eight, x to the power of nine, that's it. Okay, this is for our for our e and then c okay we look at c over here is given to us 3 over 4x to the power of 8 okay so what happened over here we are going to uh, take or we are going to make our x to the power of 8 over here because uh, the indices over here is going to be negative right if we bring to the uh, up here okay so you are gonna get this one dy dx sorry dy dx okay so i just copy first three over four let's copy that one three over four first so uh what we are going to get this one is okay sorry dy dx over here uh what you are gonna get this one is x uh, sorry three over four x negative eight Okay, that's what you are going to have over here. So what we are going to get is, I'm going to copy first for the front one here is 3 over 4. Okay, and then what we will do over here, I'm going to bring negative 8 over here to the front. So I'm going to get this one is negative 8. And then remember this one x. So what happened over here for our n over here, you are going to plus 1. So you're going to get negative Sorry, negative 8 plus 7, you're going to add uh, negative 8 plus 1, you're going to get negative 7. So what? A uh, negative 8 minus, sorry, not plus, minus lah. Uh, plus is for our integration. Okay, so you're going to get negative 9. So I, I'm going to simplify this one, 1 and 2. So you're going to get negative 6. And we are going to bring back our indices here become positive. So you're going to get x to the power of 9 over here. Okay, uh, this is for our number one E and C. Okay, next I ask you to do the number number two. Okay, this one number two A, number three A, number four A. Right. Uh, so we are going to do this one straight away. We begin with number two first. Okay, for number two, if you look over here, I'm going to have only number two. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. So number two here, if you look, okay, what we are going to have is we are going to differentiate each of the following function with respect to x. Okay, it's going to be the same what we have done just now, but this one we have three terms of it. Okay, which means I'm going to decide it at this side. We are going to have it three terms over here. Okay, so what should I do? Okay, I'm going to have the first one here. The dx for our 4x square plus d dx for our 6x and also we are going to get minus with d over dx with 1. Okay, so what happened over here if you look, okay, we are going to differentiate. So same like what we done just now at number 1, what I'm going to do here, okay, this one 2 bring to the front and minus 1. Same goes this one, this one we have 1 right. 
we are going to bring to the front and this one we are going to minus one also this one we don't have any x so actually this one you are going to get the x here is going to be zero so zero bring to the front is going to be zero times one you're going to get zero actually right uh, so what happened over here for the first one here i'm going to bring to the front two times four i'm going to get eight and then what happened over here uh, two minus one you're going to get one only for our indices okay plus what happened uh, over here one bring to the front you're going to get time with six you're going to get six so this one you are going to have one minus one is going to be x to the power of zero actually right uh, x to the power of zero just now is x to the power of one okay no no mind we are going to do this one first and then this one i'm going to get what okay i bring zero to the front so times with one i'm going to get zero actually okay and x over here is going to be negative one but obviously uh, zero right uh, so no need to uh, to do the x over here so what happened over here you're going to get eight x plus with eight plus with six actually Okay, this is for our number, number two, eight. Okay, now we go for our number, number three. Okay, so if you look over here, it's asking for us to differentiate uh, with the next questions over here. Okay, uh, y equals to 4x square. Okay, and then we have 5 minus with square root of x. Okay, if you look over here, what happened? I'm going to... Uh, what we call I'm going to expand uh, can we expand this one I think can still can right uh, we are not going to do the product over here okay if you expand this one I'm going to get my uh, function is going to be y equals to 4 times with uh, 4 times 5 is going to be 20x square right uh, and then this one if you look square root of x is going to be what square root of x is going to be x to the power of 1 over 2 right uh, so this one 4 times with negative 1 I'm going to get negative 4 first and then x square times with x to the power of 1 over 2 you are going to get uh, 2 plus with 1 over 2 is going to be 5 over 2 x 5 over 2 am I right uh, because of the indices okay because times is going to be plus okay uh, by using your calculator lah, 2 plus with 1 over 2 so I'm going to get 2 1 over 2 is going to be 5 over 2 lah okay so what happened over here we are going to do our uh dy dx lah this one <laughs> so this one what happened okay we are going to do the first one here bring to the front minus one and then same goes for the other one here bring to the front and minus one okay so what happened over here 20 times 2 i'm gonna get 40 okay uh, 2 minus 1 i'm gonna get 1 actually right okay minus with okay 5 over 2 times 4 so 5 over 2 times 4 2 with 4 is going to be 2 2 times 5 i'm going to get 10 okay so what happened to our indices over here 5 over 2 if i uh, minus 1 if you're using your calculator you are going to get 3 over 3 over 2 okay what happened next is we are going to uh, get the indices over here become our uh, this one is uh, over 2 is square root square root lah. okay so the final answer you're going to get over here is 40x minus with 10 and then this one i'm going to get square root of x cube uh, because we are going to make our indices here okay we are going to try to make the indices uh is negative we are going to get it will be a positive positive okay last one for number number four okay we look at number four over here mm -hmm. find the value of uh, dy dx okay so we are going to do our number four a over here is given to us what okay it's given to us the value uh, for each the value of x here is 1 over 2 okay before we substitute what happened over here i'm going to do my uh differentiation first for each of it uh, for uh, for each of our two terms over here so what you are going to get this one you are the x here i'm going to get uh bring 2 to the front so i'm going to get 2 minus 1 so i'm going to get 2x right and then this one is 1 bring to the front is uh, times with negative 2 so i'm going to get negative 2 only that's it right uh, this one 1 minus 1 is going to be 0 right so x to the power 0 is going to be 1 okay so what happened next is we are going to sub substitute x with 1 over 2 in our in our uh, differentiation just now so what happened next is you're going to get 
2 times with 1 over 2 and then minus with 2 so 2 with 2 over here I can simplify I'm gonna get 1 1 minus 2 so the final answer here is gonna be negative negative 1 so that's it for our self exercise of 2.2.3 thank you